Mindanao is the second largest in the Philippines. It has an annual economic output of about 3.4 trillion pesos. Its population also makes it one of the world's most populous islands, at about 27 million people. However, despite its enormous population and potential, it is unfortunately plagued with a lot of problems. You see, the major island of Mindanao has established as a terrorist output by many domestic and international groups. Then President Joseph Estrada even declared an all-out war after a regional terrorist group attacked government buildings, civilians, and foreigners alike. Since his declaration in the year 2000, many cities and metropolises have been either attacked by terrorism or have been declared by martial law. With the continuous disasters occurring, many have always thought that Mindanao will never be developed. It will forever be a place unseen by the government's ambitious plans. However, in 2016, the Philippines would inaugurate the first ever Philippine president from this very island. Since then, his ambitiousness and hunger for development have driven the entire major island. And today, there are approximately 2,130 government-led projects worth over 547 billion pesos that have been lined up for the entire island. These are reported to harness the island's transportation system, water resources, and social infrastructure. But most of it will fall under the transportation system, with a 68% budget allocation. This is essential because the land has a lot of potential, due to its land connectivity. Unlike the other major group, the Visayas, which has a lot of islands within them. Amongst these are the likes of the Tagum Davao Digos Railway, which is part of the entire Mindanao Railway, a 40 billion pesos Davao Airport, Another 14 billion pesos airport for the Laguing Dangan, 4.86 billion pesos for the Panguil Bay Bridge Project, and the Malatbug Maridagao Irrigation Project, just to name a few. The largest economic driver for Mindanao, however, is stated to be Davao City. Davao City is one of the best opportunistic places in the entire Philippines. One can even argue that it has the potential to displace the capital city known as Manila. Unlike the cities up in the northern parts of the Philippines, Davao City is a more strategic destination when connected to its Southeast Asian neighbors. The city's distance from Malaysia, Indonesia, and Brunei can play a huge role when we talk about air and maritime trade. Hence, if Davao City is fully developed economically, it will impact the entire island itself. Davao City being a trading port, equipped with these railways and roads for easy connectivity across the island, will enrich everyone living in Mindanao. Hence why the success of Davao City is going to play a huge role in the future of Mindanao. Anyway, there's still of course a lot to fix before we can fully captivate the future of Mindanao. Do let us know what you think will happen in the future. Thanks for watching.